this video is um, a different variation of how I go about designing and creating a dome. Uh, for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, create it by dividing the dome first, and then creating the segments, subdividing the circles, and that way creating a triangulated design. So what I like to start with is creating the dome shape. I'm just going to create a generic half dome. So what I like to do is just uh, start off by creating a sphere. I like to start and create it at the at the center. So let's go to zero, zero, zero. And let's make it, let's see, let's make it a radius of 20 feet. So it's a fer fairly large structure. And what I like to do to go to ex all the extents is you go zoom, Z, A, E, and that takes you to all the extents. So now that we're here, to cut this in half, I like to go to shaded mode so you can see the sphere. Um, what you want to do here is cut it in half. An easy trick, there's many ways to do it, but one way I like to do it is create a bounding box. Bounding box around that. And then if you move from here, from that corner to the center, you create a square that can cut that sphere in half. Then I go B, D for Boolean difference. So like this one, now we have the shape. Here what I like to do is explode it. Explode. Let's try that. And take that part away. Next, what you want to do is make the decision of how many ways you want to, how many times you want to divide the the dome, or how dense you want to create the dome pattern. Uh, for this example, I'm going to make it a fairly uh, dense, but not too dense. So let's try that out. This will be the points that are going to divide this curve you see this curve here that curve we want to subdivide it so let's divide that curve let's try by 12 okay that's kinda dense let's try 8 let's divide it by 8 okay that works so if we divide it by 8 this way that's a quarter of a full dome once you have this, what you want to do is create circles that cut this dome vertically. So let's try that. Let's go to the side view. And let's create a line that's projected. Make sure you have the points selected. So let's go to this view. Let's take that line bring it here and let's copy it let's copy that over and over where that point intersects let's make sure we're only going to those points point 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 we see that there okay what you want to do now is you see now we have those lines we're going to project this project those lines what surface that surface oh the way to make that work is you have to have the C plane which is this plane um, be perpendicular to wherever you want to project so let's try that again project 
so like curves these are the curves so like the surfaces those are the surfaces and if we go to 3d you should have those circles that divide the dome because if you were to just divide the dome equally it wouldn't really create an even division for that arc so we delete that now we have these would be the the reference circles and now we need the other points so what I'm going to do here is divide we go to the center here and create a bond we need to create the base circle okay now we have that base circle all right, so what I was trying to do is subdivide each one of these 32 times and that way we can create that triangulated look. So let's divide 32 times, divide 32 times. And now if we bring that circle back, we can go ahead and put a point right at the top, top, top. And so that way, we have that structure. Now we can go ahead and develop this, but it'll look as like a squared frame. And that's not what we want. We want a triangulated structure. So let's bring everything back. And let's go ahead and move this to the side and I'll show you what the trick that I do to create it to to make it to offset all of these so what you want to do is take a line create a line between two points what you want to do is you want to take this line and all the alternate all the alternating lines so this one this one this one and that one and you want to rotate them half of half of that distance and the way to do that is you take this and you rotate it using that reference so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and hide so contr control H to hide and you want to do Z a no Z zoom Z A and then E that's zoom all extents and you want to take that line you want to take that you want to take that and you want to take that right go to this top view we created a line somewhere here to give us that reference line which is right there so what we want to do is rotate make sure you have project so you're not moving it up or down and you want to take that point and you want to put it right to the midpoint of that line and so let's remove that line let's go to the side view and now we have that triangulated uh, point grid okay making some progress here and so now we can do the structure and you'll be pretty amazed as to how easy it is to finish this up so uh, what you want to do is just have the points on so you go directly on the points and you go to one two three and then you go C to close so you go one two 
three and C to close. And what you want to do is zigzag your way up. Once you have that, you can right click here, select objects, create a block, select the top as your base point and say um, this would be like faces, dome face. You might do other iterations. So that what you do have here is you can rotate this and you can say copy it, yes and go to your top view go here, boom and just go all the way around yeah, you can kind of keep multiplying it by copying other ones, but I like to go one by one sometimes just to make sure sometimes it over copies And this doesn't take too long, I mean. So we know we created one that doesn't work there. All right. And there we have it. We have the triangulated dome structure. It was fairly easy to put together using a different method. So let's try one more thing here. Let's go. Let's make this um, pipes. So what you do is go inside of one of these blocks. You go select all of those. And you explode them. You select the duplicates see all those are copies so you can take and get rid of those and then you can go well instead of doing that what you could do is take all of those make a new layer well, I think I did that wrong okay make a new layer called planes we'll just pretend that that's some glass so we'll go planar surface. That way it creates those. And once you have that, then you can explode it. Then you can select the duplicates. And then you can select those objects and turn them into pipes. Pipe. And then you go, you make the caps round, and yeah, we'll make it a radius of one. I think that'll look good. And you hit OK, and boom, magic. All oh, it does that for all of them because it's a sym pretty symmetrical structure. So let's take a look at a render. It's a pretty straightforward render. I think it'll look good. If, um, yeah, there's many ways to create domes. This is just one method. Um, this one's fairly easy to develop. So, I'm going to be posting more videos of different methods and ways to create domes. Thank you for watching. Okay, here I am. I'm uh, taking a shot at rendering the dome uh, with V-Ray. 
and as you can see it looks uh, it looks pretty good I'll make sure to include the final render so you can take a look at it here in the video thank you very much for watching